a few minutes. But we've Adrian Weckler there uh, with us as well, tech editor with the Irish mm. Independent. Now, every single one of us, Adrian, could do with sitting down and doing this. But I was saying to Rebecca, did she find some of them hard to get out of? And there are some of them that can be a little bit tricky, can't they? Absolutely. And that's completely deliberate. So when the, they're designing these apps, they have what are called dark patterns, also known as the Roach Motel method of designing the apps. And that is to make it extremely difficult for you to unsubscribe. Very easy to sign up to, very easy to sign your credit card up to through your iPhone, your Android phone, on the website. Very difficult to unsubscribe. You'll have to go through multiple screens or they'll hide the phone number or the email. First of all, they'll often make you phone up or email, whereas you just signed up uh, in the first place. So um, I'm surprised that um, they didn't have that much of a bad experience in, ups in unsubscribing because a lot of apps are very bad at unsubscribing. You know what they do as well, uh, Adrian, I'm sure you're well aware of this. You, you get lured in with that mm. offer, you know, oh, it's six euros a month for six months or 12 months. But then you forget that after the six month or 12 month period, it doubles or triples and they don't have to come back and tell you, look, the more expensive part of this deal is starting now. Consumer law here is incredibly weak on this score. You're absolutely right. You might sign, for example, a promotional a deal for, maybe it's for a newspaper, maybe it's for a streaming service, maybe it's for 2 99 a month. After six months or 12 months, that goes up to 15 euro or 20 euro. There's no law here that, that says that they have to inform you about this. There isn't even a law here which they're starting to introduce in the States which says that you should be able to cancel or unsubscribe in exactly the same way as you subscribed in the first place. So if you did that with a tap on your phone, you should be able to do it with a tap on your phone. Instead, people have to go into their iPhone, they have to go into their settings, they have to go into their, their iTunes account or their Google Play Store account, figure out which subscriptions they subscribe to there or you know, who they have to phone by checking the terms and conditions of the website. Right, well, let's go back uh, to our pair of money savers now, to Crossy and Rebecca. You both got rid of six apps each, which is interesting in itself, but we want to see who made the biggest savings. So let's take a look now. Crossy, you saved €830 Euro per year, which is very good going. <laughs> Have you an ambulance? <laughs> What? <laughs> I thought you'd be shocked at that. And Rebecca, you save €720 Euro per wow. year, which is not to be sneezed at either. But I'm just a little bit suspicious, Crossy, about you, because I suspect some of them you could be signing up to tonight after the show, like Netflix, <laughs> oh, for example. I'm telling you, if a chipper had an app, I'd probably use that more so than anything else. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just, I can't believe that. That is That's crazy. When you, when you think of it like that, you know, there's going to be so many people watching this tonight going, I don't have that many. I didn't think I had that many until you guys yeah. were saying, will you go have a look? And I'm going, I don't need that. And you're downloading these things for one series. Yeah. So I've, Apple's next to go for me because I'm a Ted Lasso and the morning show is what I want to watch. Once that's done, I'm out of there. I just, yeah, because it does build up over 800 quid. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's a